Hello everyone, how are you all? After the long time we are once again here. Let us discuss about the uh, classes. Today we are going to discuss about the um, PUC first year pre-university college uh, biology uh, subject that is the first chapter that is the living world. As we know that in the universe there is the only one planet which having the life that is the earth. Okay. In the earth, we see the variety of the living organisms are here. Even we are unable to name them, we are unable to categorize them. So today we are going to learn about the living organism, how they are uh, categorized. We can say that how we are going to identify by their names, how we are able to or how we are came to uh, name them how they are uh, be uh, in different different categories or in the different different uh, we can say that in the families in the orders in the phylum lot of there are the component let us see how they are classified here in this chapter okay let us begin this okay first here look here the diversity in the living world we say it means this is the very important the things we are going to see here Okay, uh, biodiversity, we say that the biodiversity means that the form of the organism present on the earth is called biodiversity. Biodiversity means the lot of the living organism are living in the earth. Okay, the all they are in the different categories, different species and all they are living together in on the earth. That is known as the biodiversity we can say. Some are the carnivores, some are the omnivores, some are the herbivores. This is all the organism or the animals we can say, insects we can say, the reptiles we can say or the terrestrial we can say, the aquatic animals we can say, the aerial animals, animals we can say. These all are the combined to each other, they live in the earth that is nothing but the biodiversity. We can see that we are going to categorize the organism in the form of the terrestrial, aquatic and the aerial. Okay, Terrestrial means they are living on the earth, aerial means which are living in the air and the Aquatic means with the organism which are live in the under water. Okay, except these we uh, they are the uh, categorized in the different different ways and the different methods. That is known as the nomenclature. That is known as the nomenclature. Nomenclature means it is the system of uh, naming the organism. Before I told you that we are going to name the organism. We how we are going to name the organism why we are going to name the organism means there are the million of the right there are the million of the plants and animals in the world millions together we are seeing the plants animals trees all that are living in the earth so the plants and animals are known in the local area by their local names okay it means that in the Karnataka, we say the uh, different uh, plants by the different names. We call the different animals by the different names. It is not similar to the other state. They are going to call them in by the different names. Isn't it? So, these local names are the very for place to place. It means if we are going to call the animals some by different name in the some region or the some countries or the some state they are called the same animal by the different names okay so what will happen it will create the confusion to identify the animals and we can't remember the names of the animals in the different languages by the named by the different places so, it is a very impossible for any person to remember the name of the organism in all the languages. So, we are going to select a common name or the universal name. Wherever you go, they are called by the same name. Hence, here, look here, there is a need of, it means this is the need of a uniform system of a nomenclature. Nomenclature means it is the naming of an organism naming of a organism so we are going to find we are going to take the common name 
the identification before that we how to identify the organism what type of organism it is how they are going to propagate their life in the environment after that we are going to name them that is nothing but identification that identification means identification means that is the identification is the process identification is the process assigning the pre existence of the tax on name on the individual organism it means we are going to see the existence of the organism we are going to see the existence of the previous name and that we are going to see uh, the what we call that that is the pro propagation or they are living style of that animals we are going to take the two types of the or the two different types of the nomenclature here one is the i c b n that is international code of a botanical nomenclature it may i c b n means international code for botanical nomenclature which is related to the plants botany means plants you as you know that in the biology we are categorized into the different types one is that what is that botany right botany we are called as botany and zoology right zoology zoology here the international code for the botanical nomenclature which is related to the plants it may be the herbs it may be the shrubs it may be the trees whatever it may be botanical means it is totally related to the plants here we are going to name the plants according to their pre existence according to their characteristics according to their appearance according to their basic chemical process or the biological process in the environment okay if we take the example for the neem tree neem tree having the different category right neem their leaves are different and their trunks are the different the stems is the different branches are different fruits are different means the seeds are different okay if you take the same example for the trees the mango tree is also there if we, if we compare to the mango and tree they are not as similar isn't it so we are going to categorize them so we are here to name them to identify and second one is the i c z n international code for geological nomenclature that is related to the animals it is related to the animals okay this is a two types we are using to nomenclature or to give the name for the organism whether it may be the plants or a, whether they are the animals icbn which is stands for the national international code of the botanical nomenclature and second one iczn that is the international code for the zoological nomenclature okay let us move further that is the bio binomial nomenclature the binomial nomenclature is the system of a naming it is the system of a naming naming the species by given giving each name composed of two components means binomial nomenclature means giving the name to the species which composed of a two component means two component or the two parts in the name right we can take it two parts in the name two parts in the name right name binomial means two binomial means two here we can take as a two here the naming of the species which is given by composed of a two one is the generic another one and name stand for the species name remember that in the binomial nomenclature there are the two parts in the two part in the two section we are going to name them one is related to the generic it means the descendants and second one is the species there are the two components here this is the fellow lineus the carlolius lineus is the fellow 
who invented the modern system of the binomial nomenclature he is the fellow or the he is the person who invented this system which system binomial nomenclature system is invented by this person okay you can see the picture of that person okay next if we move the further there are the some rules we have to follow to name the organism or the plants here first one rule we are going to see that what is that rule first rule biological name are usually written in the latin which language we use here the latin language we use to the name and which is written in the italic font italic font mean little bit cross like this right italic like this it a little bit cross we how to bend that is the italic font we are going to see here it is present you can see this is in the form of a italic font style or the italic system we can say it mean biological name are used to write in the latin word right latin word means here we can see here that is the latin word triticum astibum these are the latin words right second rule the scientific name usually contains two parts before i told you one is the first part first part is related to the genes and second part is related to the species or the specific ethic right first part is related to the genes which genes it contains according to their genes <coughs> according to genes we are name them and second in the second part we use the species or the specific ethics this is the second rule first one we have to write in the latin word in the italic form and in the second we are naming them in the scientific name by using the genes and their specific ethic or the species and the third rule third rule genes name starts with the capital letter while the species name start with the small letter here we can see the first letter written in the capital and second all these are written in the small letter and here you can see that homo sapiens triticum or zea stiva these all are written first letter must be written in the capital and the second letters and the remaining letters in written in the small okay small alphabetic form and next one is the rule the biological name is printed in italic printed in a italic to indicate why we are going to write in italic font to indicate their latin origin latin origin and underline it means whenever we are going to write the name of the organism by using the nomenclature we have to write in the italic form why because the it shows the latin origin or we have to underline them like this i underlined here na like this you have to underline it okay next systematics the systematic word is also derived from the latin word this is also derived from the latin word which is known as the systema systema means it is the systematic arrangement of the organism okay we are going to arrange in the ecosystem you know that first one is the producer second one is the primary consumer and third and second and upper part in the second consumer or the third consumer as here same here we are going to use the systematic the systematic word is also derived from the latin here you see that the systema is written in the latin font latin font it shows that it is originated from the latin language which means the systemia means the systematic arrangement of the organism 
सिस्टेमेटिक सेकेंड पॉइंट द सिस्टेमेटिक इज द स्टडी ऑफ द डायरिफिकेशन ऑफ लिविंग फॉर्म बोथ पास्ट एंड प्रेजेंट हियर इट मीन्स सिस्टेमेटिकली वी आर गोइंग टू कैटेगराइज दम बिफोर एंड प्रेजेंट एंड आफ्टर द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द बिफोर एंड द प्रेजेंट ऑल्सो here we can see that the relation among the living things through time how they are related with the living things or the living organism systematically we are going to categorize them by using their past knowledge and the present knowledge or we can say that we are going to systematically categorize them by using the past data means before data and also present data okay this is the invented by this is invented by right this is invented by linnaeus used the systema nature the title of a publication that fellow written the book by the name of the systema nature or the nature we can say that that is the title of a publication right you can see here that is the title of a publication right i hope you people are understanding next point is the taxonomy category taxonomy category means the classification of involves the hierarchy of steps sorry hierarchy of steps we use the hierarchy steps where each represent a ranks or the categories taxonomy category means the classification of a involve hierarchy of a steps here different steps we are going to follow i told you that by their appearance by their uh, we can say that that is the uh, consumptions we can say that the different uh, categories we are using to categorize them okay next one the various step of the classification hierarchy are called the taxonomy category look here it is a very important sentence here various steps of the classification in the different steps we use in the classification that is known as taxonomy categories it means we use no, we are not going to use only the appearance or we are not going to see how they are living in the earth there are the different system or the different the minor things we are observe here to name them or the categorize them so we are say that that is known as the taxonomy categories each level in the hierarchy represent an increase organizational complexity we are going to increase here one by one let us see how they are first year dear student first we are going to study about that species we are see how what type of species is it after that we see the genes we category them a family or we are category them in order after that we are category them in the classes we are category them in the phylum and we are going to get a last category is known as the kingdom according to this system we are going to nomenclature or give the names to the organism first we see the species right second on the genes family order class phylum and the kingdom let us see one by one okay first one is the species species means what is the species stand for species stand for species is a group of a individual in which the individual can the interbreed among themselves this is the very important here here we can say that is the cat that is we can say the dog they are going to interbreed in their only in their species only in the particularly individually that is known as the species species means the cat is the species okay that is the different category we can say that in the cat only there are the wild cat is different the big cat is different and the domestic cat is the different okay totally we can say them as a cats that interbreed among themselves it means the species the species definition is species is a group of individuals in which they individual can interbreed among themselves only 
second point the members of a species have the large number of a similar category just i told we can say that cat right and the wild cat they look similar but there are difference wild cat right and we say that the big cats big cats big cats we can say that the lion right tiger right tiger these are the wild cats these are the wild cats there are the wild cats and this is the domestic cat which we are going to pet in our houses that is the cat this is a totally this is known as the species okay again we are going to categorize them why because they look similar but they are not a similar okay next for example here the examples are is given is the mangiferia indica this is the mango tree origin from india remember this this is the origin from india okay india so it is name given by indica Huh? this is the botanical name or we can say that botanical name or the scientific name that is the mangiferia indica that is known as the mango here that solenum tubersonum that is potato and the panthera leo the, these all cats come under this panthera and leo you can say for example i told you that the lion here the lion you can take the lion this is known as the species second one is the genes genes means is the group of a close related to the species sorry 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 right okay this is a close related to the species it means genes is related to the species right means cat species right and lion 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 these are the species which has related to close each other their genes are very close to each other cat and the lion if we see the behavior in the cats and the lions there are the similarity so genes is close related to the species is called the genes genes for example potato tomato brains all are the three different species these are the three different potato is the different potato we grow under the earth in the or soil tomato we see in the branches brinjal we see in the branches of that trees or the we can say shrubs or the herbs but all belongs to the solum these all belongs to the solomons here look the lion panthera leo leopard and the tiger these all are different lion is the different leopard is the different tiger is the different but all the members of the same genes right these all are the wild animals and they look similar but there is a difference between them about their appearance some are the panther leopards having the black dot on them and tigers having the lines on them and the lion is the plain that is we know that but these all similar are in the genes there is the close relationship these all comes under the panthera these all come under the panthera next the family family means family means a group of close related genera called a family genera means genes close related to the genes is known as the family here genes known as the family here the close related genera is called the family here family are the categorized on the basis of both vegetative reproductive features remember that in the family we are categorize the organism on the two basis one is the vegetative reproduction and so vegetative and the veget reproductive features of a plants species right 
in the plants we see some are the sexual reproduction system is there in the some plants there is a vegetative reproduction system is there okay you recall that the previous knowledge in the plants there are the two type of the reproduction system one is the asexual reproduction another one is the sexual reproduction right example the three different genera solemon pantinia and datura are placed in the family of solaneca right these are come under the solaneca in animals genes we see the pantheras and genes felis belongs to the felidia felidia right i hope you people are getting the idea family means family is categorized into the on the basis of two one is the vegetative reproduction uh, and the uh, sexual uh, uh, vegetative reproduction and the reproductive system vegetative means in the reproduction features same there are next one is the order next one is the order order means what is the order order is the close related to the family it is close related to the family there is a very little bit ah family means very related to or the closer to the order is called a order right remember that first is the species genes that is after that but family and the order okay order order are the other higher taxonomical categories are identified based on the aggregates of the characters here we are going to see the characters of the organism on that basis we are going to categorize them here for example look here plants family total family plants is a family that is like the conolo velucicia that is the solenakia or the individual order of the polynomialias polynomialids any means means phaledia concidia belongs to the carnivora carnivora means carnivorous animals we can carnivora this is known as the order next one is the class class is a major category made here let us see what is that let us first underline that the important point here okay class class the major category made one or the more related order that poses certain similarity or the similar correlated characteristics i know there is a comparison of the characteristic of a organism let us see example in the example you are going to get the clear idea class mammalia has the number of orders class mammalia has the number of orders like carnivora rodentia primata insectivora etc all these possess mammillary glands mammary glands it means the organism which having the mammary glands they all are under a single classes external ear another feature is the external ears and the hairs for example we have the hairs we have the hairs on the bodies lions also having the hairs on the bodies and they having the mammary gland and even though uh, uh, human beings having the mammary glands and we possess we possess the external ears and the lion tiger all their possess this external ears these all are come under the mammalia classes the animals which having the mammary mammary glands external ears or the hairs on their bodies they all are come under in the mam class mammalia i hope you people are getting the idea next the phylum phylum is the group of phylum is the group of close related to the class it means phylum is the next step is the uh, after that it is the class next is the phylum that is known as close related to the classes is known as the phylum phylum means in the plant kingdom the phylum has the replaced with the division in the plant kingdom it means totally plant whatever they are common 
it means they may be herbs they may be shrubs they may be the trees they may be whatever they are if they are the plants they come under the kingdom of a plant or the plant kingdom or the plant fam phylum right here for example we can see, see that the example of this is amphibia reptilia aves and in the mammal uh, mammalia belongs to the phylum of the cotoda corodata right this is known as the phylum next one is the and the last one is the kingdom here kingdom let us see the what is the kingdom right a group of all the related phylum is known as a kingdom related to the phylum is known as a kingdom here for example the kingdom plantia i told before only told you that all the plants come under the kingdom of plants that is known as the plantia all the plants from the various division whatever it may be they all are come under in the plantia it may be the small tree it may be the medium tree it may be the large tree it may be the herbs it may be the shrubs whatever you take they all are come under the kingdom of plantia and same that all the heterotrophic organism which are the eukaryotic eukaryotic mean true cell which organism contain the true cell true cell means which contain the mitochondria nucleus ribosome lysosome all these organism contained cell is known as the eukaryotic cell here all heterotrophic heterotrophic means which are depend upon the different organism or in the different material to feed themselves that is the heterotrophic organism which are eukaryotic and a lack of a cell wall lack of a cell wall are kept under in the animal kingdom eukaryotic even though we are the eukaryotic organism why because we having we having the cell we having the nucleus we having the mitochondria we having the ribosome we are the heterotrophic animals we depend upon the different organism or the different vegetables to feed ourselves we are also and even the lion tiger buffalo cat dog rat these all are coming to the heterotrophic organism with the eukaryotic cell they all are come under in the animal kingdom there are the two kingdom one is the plant kingdom you can call it as a plantia kingdom another one is the animal kingdom or you call it as a animalia kingdom there is a diff, uh, little bit difficulties in the pronunciation because of my thick tongue sorry there are the two important kingdoms one is the plantia another one is related to the animal that is the animal kingdom right there are two important next one is the taxonomical aids herbarium first we are going to according to the taxonomy we are see here herbarium herbarium means by this word we come to know that what is the herbarium herbarium is the stored herbarium is the storehouse of the plant species where we store the different type of plants in the particular area or in the particular building or in the particular place that is known as the herbarium we store the different type of a plants here yeah. specimens are dried how we are going to store them specimen specimens means we dry their leaves we dry their stems we dry their branches we dry their seeds or the fruits and pressed and pressed and preserved in the form of a sheet on the sheet right next these sheet are arranged in the systematically according to the universal accept system of a classification we are arrange them in the form of a nomenclature we are arranged according to the species according to the genes according to the class according to the order according to the file order family according to the phylum according to the kingdom we are going to arrange them 
according to the classification according to the system of a system of a nomenclature we are classifying them are you getting my point next one is the herbarium sheet contain the information about the date and the place of a collection on what date we are collected the specimen from which place we are collected that specimen these all data are stored in the herbarium with their collector names for example if i collected my name right my name must my name must be there my name first the collector name name second one is on what date that is collected it means the specimen is collected on what date it is collected right next from which place from which place it is collected from which place it is collected place right and with their scientific name scientific name are you getting my point this is the system of a herbarium that is the first name of the collector next to the on what date that is collected from which place and with their local names local names and also the scientific name and the family etc all the data we get from the herbarium it provide the quick referral system to the taxonomical study which is help to study about the organism or the plants here it means the all the data which we collect with the specimens that is helpful for the study of a organism or the species we can say here next one taxonomical aids second that is the botanical before i told you the, what is the botanical botanical garden we see lot of the gardens whenever we go to the trips whenever we go to the tours we see the forest we see the bio um, what we call the botanical garden for example you take the dandeli you take that uh, um, uh, what is that uh, different forest we have in the karnataka all that forest are reserved forest that we can say them at is the botanical garden also in here we recent uh, in nearby us there is a bijapur in be, behind the kcp college we see there is a botanical garden is arranged here in uh, different places we see the botanical garden botanical garden means a botanical garden is a place where the plants are grown in the and displaced for the purpose of the research and the education we grow the plants in the particular area and we take them for the studies that is known as the botanical garden where is the garden which contain the different categories of the plants different types of the plants that is known as the botanical garden each plants contains the label the indicating the scientific name if you visit the botanical garden every plants is named by their scientific name in the garden the name tag must be attached to the plants with their family family in the scientific name some of this famous botanical garden we can in india or in the kolkata national botanical research institute of the lucknow and the garden of the medical uh, uh, medicinal plants north Beng, uh, bengal university west bengal these are the very famous botanical gardens in the india next we see that is the geological park geological parks geological parks means the parks which is placed the wild animals geological park is a place where the wild animals are protected under the similar to their nature habitat we create the forest artificial forest and we preserve or we can protect the wild animals like the tiger you can see in this picture here tiger elephant hippopotamus tiger crocodiles or the birds or the leopards there are the lot of the wild animals must be preserved now must be protected from the hunters 
that is known as in the here we see that uh, in the Mysore there is a uh, geological park here there are the some famous zoo in the India that is the geological park of the Mysore we see the different type of uh, birds we see the different type of uh, wild animals here in the Mysore and the narrow uh, geological park of the Hyderabad and the Tiruvandampuram zoo and the Chennai zoo where we protect all the wild animals the wild animals means which there there are the variety of the wild animals you know that next one the key points what are the key points it means little bit speeder i taught you today in the next section we are going to make it slow okay uh, before that this is the very helpful for the cet those who are going to for the cet neat jeet they can refer this and please subscribe and the comment please comment uh, give me the feedback what i have to improve okay in the teaching field please uh, give me the feedback also by your comments your comments are the very precious to me and let us see that is the key what is the key keys are used to identification of plants and animals based on the similarity and the dissimilarity okay these are key used to identify the animals and the plants uh, to categorize them or the identify them by their similarities in the dissimilarity you know that a similarity means having the common features dissimilarity means not having the similar features next one key are the anatomical in the nature based on the constructing characteristic in the pair of the coupleting complete couplet means with their couples of organism by the nature there are the different organisms will live in the couples that is the couplet we can say that in the out two purposes of the characters characters only one which is relevant in the accepted while the other is rejected these are the key points to identify to give the name the purpose one must be rejected or one must be selected each statement in a key is a lead every important point every point is very important in the nomenclature separate the taxonomic uh, key required for the each taxonomical categories such as a family genes order every separate taxonomy key is required here to category the animals in the families in the genes in the orders are you getting my point every information is the very important to name the organism in present in the environment or in the forest or in the on the earth in the earth that are all used all the keys or the all the information used here to category the animal in the family in the genes in the order or in the classes or in the phylum everywhere we use these taxonomical keys here okay i hope you people are understood please comment please like and please subscribe my channel and share this important uh, class with your friends and the family they also get the important knowledge about their education and this is very helpful for the uh, uh, upcoming cet jeet neet exam exam exams that you are going to face in the future okay thank you very much for the listening please subscribe this class